exactly a year ago, I came right here to the back bay of our building that we had just purchased and did a walkthrough from the back to the front, showing the whole place and talking about some of the plans that I had for renovating it and updating it. We hadn't moved in at all yet. The previous seller still had a bunch of stuff in storage in the building. It was dirty. The lights needed replaced. Tons of stuff needed work. We've had an incredible year. So I wanted to go back to right where I shot that video from and do the exact same walkthrough with some commentary on things we've changed and done since then. So I'm here by the back rooms. I've got my mobile like video photography podcasting stand back here. Our old side vacuum former is out of service. We're gonna be selling that. That's why there's a for sale sign on it. We have our laser area with our two boss lasers fully operational. That's going great. Uh, we added some free weights and a disc golf basket so that myself or the employees can take a break and blow off a little bit of steam. This is our assembly area for all of our Filster Enigma Express stuff. We also have sewing and roll cutting and all the supplies and everything for that. Our fab area is over there by the knee mill. Along this wall, it had nothing on it in that previous video. We now have our roll dispenser. We've got pallet racks. We have labeled inventory for all of our shipping supplies, bubble wrap, overstock of some of our stuff. We've cleaned up and refurbished the forklift. It needed a lot of love, new filters, new seals, new fluid, bunch of stuff. That's all been done. We redid all the lights in this bay. All the fluorescents are out. LEDs are in everywhere. Back into bay two, we have our prototype vacuum forming station here. Bandsaw and stock prep with our brand new pneumatic shear. We've got our pallet rack for our most commonly used pieces of plastic. We've got all of our mold storage is mobile. Everything is in bins, everything's labeled. We've got a new big dust collector that we're getting ready to put into service with a cyclone to pull from our uh, buffing stations. We've got our main caser and our backup caser wired together, running just great. And in here, we put in all new lights. We have rapid air, air piping throughout the whole building. Into bay one, I've got the big door open. Mills one and two are right here running great. We moved the R650 into bay one as well. So it's just on the other side of those racks. We've done a lot of work on getting all of our stuff binned and racked in clear bins. We use a lot of laminated tags. We're still color coding things. We've made our forming stations much more compact. All the parts in them are mobile. Uh, everything's on wheels. The 650 is a boss. It runs every day. We built completely new assembly benches and color coded all of our hardware. Our shipping station is right here. We normally have all of our orders cleared out by about 11 a.m. each day. So if you order now, it'll ship tomorrow morning. Uh, all of our in-stock inventory is right here on these two rolling shelves. And we have all of our OCDs. And on the other side, all of our holsters. And we keep a very small amount of inventory, but it's there ready to ship. Uh, we're gonna be doing some more work over in this section, building out our buffing area. Uh, so this is just for now a spare catch-all inspection table, but we put all new LED lights in bays three, two, and one, and that's working great. This is a completely different look, although you can still see those brown burn spots on the ceiling where the old high-pressure sodium lamps were. Uh, in the video before, I pointed off to the side room that had a bunch of plants and stuff in it, and I said, this is gonna be my office, and now it's my office. I got a standing desk and some filing cabinets. I do most of my administrative work from in there. It's nice, I can step off the shop floor and close the door. We built a little sort of break, break coffee room. We've got hot tea and coffee here in the building. We've got our backpack vacuums. We have a couple of these set up around the building. So anytime we need to vacuum something, any employee can just grab it and go. We redid the office, had it all painted put LED lights on the ceilings, put some sound treatment and acoustical panels on the wall to quiet it down in here, had the floors scrubbed and resurfaced, well, recoded. Um, added a fridge and a little orange drink fridge. Orange fridge drinks are for anybody who wants them, so I keep that stocked with a variety of things. Uh, I built myself a little CAD 3D printing workstation here. This is all connected via ethernet to the CNC machines on the floor. So I can get two doors away from the shop floor if I really want some quiet, shut those doors and program here in peace and quiet and then send my program straight to the mills. We also took that front room and turned it into our conference room. We have our morning meetings in here so we can put uh, YouTube videos or photos up on the screen, show off lean improvements. We need to get some more chairs because we currently have to bring a couple folding chairs in every morning. We have more employees than we have chairs at the moment. 
Uh, but these whiteboards are great. We got two full-size whiteboards in here and a bunch of these acoustical panels. So it's a nice, relatively quiet room to talk and have meetings in. It has been amazing. And a year ago, this place was dirty. It was dingy. It was kind of a sad place to go. And I was just thrilled at the potential of being in here. And now I get to come here to work every day. And it's awesome. I have so much fun here. I can't even begin to describe it.